it's a rare one. To the victor go the spoils, as they say. I bet old man Sakaki will have a fit over this. Now, if they'd only get us some reinforcements. Let's head back. I'm starving. What kind of rations are they serving today? Huh? Actually, that came up during the last food supply meeting. Got it. We're having a new type of corn. What? You mean that giant corn on the cob again? That's so hard to chew. Hey, times are hard. You should be grateful you're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, I'll trade you. What do you say? No way. Come on, you guys. You want to be left behind? match for a new type god eater in the database i see what's his name hmm. let's get him down here to take the aptitude test Sorry to have kept you waiting so long. Now then, let me welcome you to humankind's last fortress, Fenrir. I will now test your compatibility as a member of the anti-Aragami punitive force, the God Eaters. Please, try to relax a little. You'll get better results that way. When you're ready, go stand in front of that case in the center of the room. Congratulations. You are now the first of the Far East Branch's new type, God Eaters. This concludes the aptitude test. Now that we know you're a match, you'll be going for a medical checkup next. Now then, I'd like you to wait in the room beyond that door. Don't hesitate to let someone know right away if you start feeling unwell. I have high hopes for you. some gum oh I'm all out looks like I just used the last piece sorry about that I am Kota Fuji so you are a match too well, that makes two of us you must be my age or maybe a little older oh well I'm still your senior by a nanosecond nice to meet you stand up huh I said, stand up, on your feet. I'm on a tight schedule, so I'll be keeping this short. My name is Tsubaki Amamiya. 
and I'm your advisor. This is your schedule. After the medical checkup, you'll complete a full curriculum of basic physical training, basic combat training, as well as a weaponry armor clinic. We are the ones who have been protecting you up until now. But from this day forward, you'll be doing the protecting. If you don't want to die over something stupid, then answer my every order with a yes. Understood? Answer me. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's begin the medical checkups. We'll start with you. Report to Dr. Paler Sakaki's room by 1500 hours. Take a tour of the facilities until then. This is your new home, the Fenrir Far East Branch, AKA the Den. Make sure you pay your respects to the members of your team. Hmm, you got here 726 seconds sooner than I expected. Good to see you, new type. I'm Paler Sakaki. And I'm in charge of the Aragami Technology R&D. Well, we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on. Welcome aboard. Now then, as you can see, I'm still pretty busy getting prepared. Johan, why don't you get your business out of the way first? Dr. Sakaki, I think it's high time you learn to separate business from private matters. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. My name is Johannes von Schicksel. I'm in charge of the Fenrir branch in this region. Congratulations again on passing the test. I expect great things from you. He's a former techie too, you know. The new type's medical checkups interest you to no end, right, Johan? I decided to retire as a techie because we have you. Keep that in mind. Did you really ever retire, though? Hmm. <laughs> Now then, this is where the real fun starts. Let me explain the Fenrir's Corporation's objectives once more. Your direct duties are very simple. They are to keep the Aragami in this region at bay, and to gather materials, which are then converted into resources needed to maintain this advanced base, as well as to complete the impending Aegis project. Oh, look at these numbers. The Aegis project is Simply put, a plan to create a utopia impregnable against Aragami attacks. Located far out to sea, close to the former Sea of Japan trench. Ha <laughs> ha! Once the project is complete, humankind will be able to avoid extinction. At least, for a Amazing. while. Amazing! So this is what a new type is like. Taylor, you're disrupting my lecture. Oh, sorry about that. I was just so taken aback by these stats, I got carried away. At any rate, the future of humankind is at stake, so give it your best effort. All right, I'll be taking my leave now. I'm leaving it all to you, Paler. Send me the data when you're done. Okay, we're good to go now. Lie down on that bed, will you? You'll feel sleepy for a little while, but I assure you, there's nothing to worry about. When you wake up, you'll be in your own room. Just a little cat nap, so to speak. You'll get about 10,800 seconds. Sweet dream. Oh, Lindo. The director said if I saw you, to tell you to come see him. Okay. Don't tell him you saw me. Hey there, rookie. The name is Lindo Amamiya. On paper, I'm your superior officer. But, uh, never mind all that boring stuff, okay? All I'm asking is that you become someone I know will have my back. Okay? Oh. Who's this, a rookie? Yeah, and I'm pounding him with all our severe rules right now. So take a hike, Sakuya. Yes, sir, Big Boss, sir. So anyway, that's about it, okay? I'm sending you right into battle now. But I'll be accompanying you on this mission. Hey, look at the time. We're gonna head out, guys.
boy, this place has seen better times, huh? Hey, rookie, we're gonna start the simulation now. You got three orders. Don't die. If your number's up, get out. Lastly, hide. If you're lucky, catch the enemy off guard and blast it. Wait, is that four? The bottom line is you've got to survive. Just follow that order and everything else will be fine. All right, let's get this show on the road. There you are. <clears throat> All right, let's jump right in. What do you think an origami is? The nemesis of humankind, an absolute predator, destroyer of the world. Well, that about sums it up. Now then, these aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say it means one simply has his eyes fixed on the phenomena before him. Okay, I have a question. Have you ever wondered how and why the origami came into being? As you probably know, the origami appeared out of nowhere one day. Since then, their numbers exploded. Yep, as if they were ripping right through every evolutional process. <sighs> hey, listen, does this lecture have a point? I mean, what do we care about the reason for the origami existence? Sure about that? Well... An origami has no brain. Neither does it have a heart, nor even spinal fluid. We frail humans will perish if we get blasted in the head or the chest. But that's not enough to bring down an origami. An origami is a cluster of oracle cells, each of which is a single cell organism that thinks and preys on others. That's right. An origami is in itself a colony of thousands. Make that hundreds of thousands of life forms. And this powerful, graceful fusion of cells can't be destroyed by conventional weapons, not the ones we have anyway. So how on earth are you people supposed to battle these origami? Um, let's see. Just keep slashing and blasting them with our god arc? Yes. The short answer is that using a god arc, a bioweapon embedded with the same oracle cells, is the only way to stop the fusing of an origami's oracle cells. However, this can also cause rogue cell colonies to refuse and then form a new entity. The best thing to do would be to extract the origami core, the cell colony serving as a command center. But this is extraordinarily difficult to do. Even with God Arc, we have no way to deliver a decisive blow. Somewhere along the way, the people likened this absolute being to countless gods that have been passed down around here, and they started to call it origami. All right, that's it for today's lecture. I'd like you to refer to the Norn database in the terminal for more details about the origami. Understood?